Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Lillian. I hope everybody is doing well. I'm here to share a couple of projects that I just completed. Um, I have partnered with Coco Rosa Studios and they have sent me a couple of Halloween dies that I wanna share with you. I will link them down below so you can get to them directly. I also have a coupon code, Lillian25, that you could use. Um, if you wish to purchase them. So let's go ahead and get started with this one. Really love this one. I chose it because of the sentiment. It's trick or treat. It's um, almost a gothy, um, fancy, kind of creepy sentiment. Um, and I love it. And it comes with this corner spider web. And look at how fancy that is. I love the tails that it comes with um and it's a pretty good size um here i can't remember hold on a second it's a three by three in total so that is a pretty big sentiment and i really like that the same thing with the spider web it's close to three and three quarters um so that's pretty big and I like it. Let me show you a couple of projects that I did with this. This is definitely um, a keeper right next to my desk to be using it over and over and over. Let me show you first one of the first cards as I was starting to play with it. This is the first one and look at, look at that spider web. How pretty is that? Just that scroll at the end is so fancy right and then look at this font of the trick or treat I love it they're not you know they're individual letters so you need to use your ruler to make sure that you know you put them on straight but look at how beautiful that is um, I didn't have to add too much to this card I did add I just got these from pink fresh they are the um, gold pearls and I just added a couple of them and of course I had to add a little spider I was looking for a 3d spider but I didn't have one so I just added this little this little baby right here but look at how cute I love it right okay so let me show you another one I had to again just the sentiment itself is beautiful beautiful and look at that spider web of course I have to bling bling out um, I got these from Timu look at how beautiful they are but the sentiment is gorgeous and look at how big it's big and I did it on two corners I mean wow and that's really all you need all I did extra was I added the little jemmies and of course this little spider here but I mean other than that that was it and look at how beautiful I think it's the it's the font that makes it fancy and of course these scrollies on the spider web which if you didn't want to use you could certainly you know trim them but look how beautiful they work out isn't that gorgeous I love it so that's another, it makes it look very fancy. And then I did this one. I used only um, the spider web. And as you could see, I did trim it a little bit. But my friend Isabel, creatively Isabel on Instagram, gave me a card last year. And I love what she did. She just used one of the baggies, filled it with sequins and put um, her Halloween sentiment and sent me a card. And I thought, oh my God, that was so cute. So I am, um, what is it? I'm borrowing the idea. So I think it's perfect. But... Perfect spider web, so elegant, and I love it. Love it, love it. So those are the ones with the trick or treat sentiment and the spider web. Again, I will link them for you. Um, I did one project with this one, um, just because um, I tore up the other ones that I had um, accidentally. But let me show you this little banner that I did. Look at how cute that is. I definitely want to use this in um, my memory decks cards. I need to do that. Um, 
but I cut this out three times in orange and black and in that iridescent paper. Um, and then I just kind of cut them out and glue them on top just to give it that, you know, different color on it. And my friend Isabel gave me this sentiment last year. I'm just now using them. So I'm like, stop hoarding Lillian. But look at how pretty that is. And the paper in the background, if you didn't notice, if you've seen some of my videos, this is from the Paper Insider. This is one of my favorite papers. It's so pretty. But how cute is that little banner? Love it. So cute. Okay. And then this little one. Oh, I'm in love with this die set. So it comes with a pumpkin. This is the pumpkin stem. It comes with the cat and he is, or she is, um, pretty big. I mean, if we measure, I mean, that's close to four inches. Um, and with, I'd say about two and a quarter, two and a half. But um, yeah, I love this kitty cat. It comes with the witch's hat. There's the belt. Um, there's the buckle and it comes with two bats. So let me show you what I did with this one. This was definitely one of my favorites. Of course, I had to do my memory dex card. So I did this one. And I only used the kitty cat and the pumpkin. Um, they don't punch out. The eyes don't punch out. Um, they just emboss. So I just grabbed... A black pen and I traced it over to fill it in but look at that kitty cat I love him or her but I had to so so I just used the two items I wanted to do it a hot pink and black what do you guys think I just added a little this little spider web with the spider and then of course some hot pink flowers and a little sentiment Super cute. I'm in love with this kitty cat. So in love. Um, this is one of my cards. Look at how adorable she is. I had to do her in a little bling bling. Right? So I matted this three times, four times. The black, the gold, the purple, and then this light color. I use Scrap Diva's um, Ghost Tag Sentiment Candy. I love this font. Um, and then I added some epoxy candies, a flower. This is also Scrap Diva's Edge Flower. Um, this is a die set, little um, picket fence die set that I have. And then, of course, this is the witch's hat that comes with the set. Look at how cute that is. And then, of course, these are the little mini flowers that I make. But look at her. I love her. She, and then just those eyes. Look at those eyes. Uh, this is definitely a must. Any kitty lovers out there, you guys need to get this one. So, so cute. Just those eyes give me those attitude. And then here in this one, I used all the elements of the die set. I should have made her um, also blingy here, but I didn't. So I used the pumpkin again. You know, it doesn't punch the eyes. Um, I just took a black pen and I filled in the embossing as well as the mouth. I popped them, popped the kitty cat, put on the hat a little bit to the side. And then, of course, I did add... The little bats, I folded the wings to give it a little 3D. And of course, I had to add some of my flowers there. What do you guys think? Cute, right? This is definitely a must. This kitty is so cute. Can you tell that it's my favorite? My oh, ultimate favorite. Look at how cute. 
but super cute. I definitely, um, this is the kitty cat's definitely my favorite, but the trick or treat sentiment. Um, yeah, this is a must too. They're definitely going to go in my arms length, um, Christmas, di Christmas dies, Halloween die. So Coco Rosa Studios, I will link them directly so you don't have to search for them. And remember to use my code Lillian25 so you could save 25%. Um, and thanks for watching. I will catch you on the next one. Bye.